Imagine a nuclear apocalypse. Where in the United States would you stand the best chance of survival? Now that's a question that might make you shudder, but it's one that isn't entirely far-fetched in our current world. A study conducted by NoDepositDaily.com took this question seriously, diving deep into 18 key indicators for survival in the face of a nuclear apocalypse. From food availability to population density, from medical services to access to fresh water, this study left no stone unturned. According to this study, your survival odds could drastically change depending on where you are. So, which states top the list for survival, you might ask? Well, according to a study conducted by NoDepositDaily.com, it seems that Vermont takes the crown. This small northeastern state has been identified as the safest place to hunker down in the event of a nuclear apocalypse. Factors such as ample food availability, lower population density, and access to fresh water and medical services are key contributors to its top ranking. But Vermont isn't the only bastion of safety. Close on its heels are states like Maine, Louisiana, Wyoming, and New Hampshire. Each of these states scored highly in terms of supplies and survival resources, as well as access to weapons and security. Their climates also provide a significant advantage, offering conditions conducive to survival and recovery in such a dire situation. On the other end of the spectrum, however, are states like Hawaii, Nevada, California, Arizona, and New York. These states face considerable challenges when it comes to surviving a nuclear apocalypse. Hawaii, for instance, ranked lowest due to its isolated location, making it difficult to access resources and aid. California, with its densely populated urban areas, also faces a significant disadvantage, as does New York, with its lack of essential resources and high population density. Other states that deserve an honorable mention for their high rankings include Montana, Arkansas, Florida, South Dakota, and North Dakota. Each of these states boasts a unique combination of factors that make them relatively safe havens in this hypothetical scenario. While this is a hypothetical scenario, the study offers an intriguing look at how prepared different parts of the country are for a potential disaster. It's a stark reminder that preparation and knowledge can make all the difference when it comes to survival. While we hope never to face such a situation, it's worth asking, how can individuals prepare for a nuclear fallout? Well, there are steps you can take to protect yourself. Building a do-it-yourself underground bunker might sound like something out of a James Bond movie, but it's a practical solution. And guess what? It doesn't need to cost an arm and a leg. Begin by digging a trench, create an entrance and a ventilation system. Cover your shelter with waterproof material, lay wooden poles, fill any gaps with cloth or leaves, and add soil and plastic sheeting on top. This process, based on the book Nuclear War Survival Skills, can be done for under a grand and offers significant radiation protection. Now let's talk about stocking your shelter. Essential supplies include water, non-perishable food, a Kearney air pump for ventilation, a makeshift bathroom setup, battery-powered lights, a radio, and a first aid kit. The duration of stay in the shelter depends on various factors, with the most critical period being within one to three days after the explosion. If building a shelter isn't feasible, seek refuge in basements or concrete buildings. Remember, preparedness is everything. Stay safe, stay prepared, and let's hope we never have to put this knowledge to use.